Karun nga ato nang nakitaan ang realidad sa mga batan-on sa karun nga panahon atong taysa-taysao ng kondisyon sa mga batan-on sa upat ka setting no? sa katilingban, sa balay, sa eskwelahan ug sa simbahan. Let's begin with the youth and society. The Philippines is a young country with the majority of the population belonging to the youth bracket. The vast numbers of young people constitute a strength for the nation, but in many ways carry several weaknesses. Today's Filipino youth live in and are greatly affected by the broad context or environment of Philippine society. Ika nga ni Rizal, we the youth are the hope of our nation. Pero we are impeded by challenges that we currently face. We have teenage pregnancy, drug addiction, so on. Huh? So I think we can still prove, no? Nga bisan pa, we have experienced those. Hilabi na sa mga tao nga, ka ng mga early parents, no? Sa'yo na nga minyo, sa'yo na kaanak mga single parents so I think no, we can still prove that we are the hope of our nation by educating our children aron dili sila mama himong sama sa imuhang giagian if ever you have experienced those no, same sad sa mga na, na himong addict no, you can share your experience to them para dili sila ma sama no, sa unsa man ang nahitabo sa imong kinabuhi economically our country enjoys the benefits of diverse and abundant natural resources but because of massive poverty owing to the unequal distribution of wealth many young people lack the opportunities for growth and education no so kahibaw naman gyud ta no kung unsa ang impact kung wala ta naka-eskwela no so usually sa yung mga minyo no or dili sa yung kaayo magtrabaho no bata pa lang nagtrabaho na or worse kanang wala gyud trabaho nga makitaan no so politically our country boasts of being Asia's first democratic nation but because of the example given by responsible and corrupt government leaders Many young people are confused and disillusioned. No, hilabi na during the elections. No, ay kita mo mga batan on. We have w one of the largest impacts during the elections. Tungod kay sumala sa gingo na ako ganina nga. No, youth comprises majority of the Filipino population. So therefore, dako yung tag contribution. Pero, maulagi na, we are selling our votes, no? Kay tungod kay uso man ang vote buying, earn money, which is not right. So, dapat kitang mga batan on, we have to exercise our suffrage carefully, no? We have to select ka ng best leader, no? Nga atong ma hunahunaan. No? We have to decide properly. And culturally, our families and communities are founded on the solid Filipino value system. But because of the influx of materialistic value systems seeping in through media, many young people live with no clear direction. No? Labi na sa panahon karon nakitang mga batan on, we are immersed on social media. No? Sama sa video ganina, internet is on our packet na daw. So, sulod na sa atong pocket, madala na nato bisag-asa. Therefore, increases the chances na we are using social media more often. So, sa may epekto sa social media nato, no? First is, sometimes we get, or we become lazy. No? Dili na tayo makatabang sa atong mga trabahoon sa panimalay. <coughs> Excuse me. Another thing is the materialism. No? 
kanang we define success kung nadato na ta dagan na tag kwarta no and of course kanang mga likes nato sa FB that defines who we are and of course kitang mga batan on we are having this go with the flow mentality no kanang kung unsay uso follow dayon ta buhat dayon ta and as far as we know diba na ay mga butang mga, mga trends sa social media nga dili maayo pero bisan kay hibaw pa ta nga dili na siya maayo we still do them which is dili dapat sakto isip mga batan on